Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are new, nice to meet ya. If you are not new, I truly appreciate you coming back. Last video I completely messed that up, so I'm happy I got it right this time. And this is probably one of my more exciting videos that I have had the opportunity to film because this is brought to you by Halara. I am so excited that Halara reached out to me and wanted me to try some of their new clothes um, and kind of give my feedback on it. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go over what I picked out and then kind of just do my usual try on. But I am very excited for this partnership because I have seen Halara all over the internet. Obviously it's like that fitness dress and they were so gracious to give my audience a 20% off coupon code. It's just Kelsey B. Um, it is not a commissionable link. It just shows them that you watch me and you like my content and you wanted to use my link. So if you do like anything in today's video, I would truly appreciate if you did use my coupon code. That way it just kind of shows them that they picked the right person. So I'm very excited. So without further ado, I'm going to go through, do like the basics, and then we're going to do the try on on how they fit and everything like that. All right. So first up are these running shorts. These are called the, sorry, I'm reading my notes. If you see me look down at all. So these are in my feels contrast mesh two in one short. So this is the blue spruce color. And I got these because I want to compare them to the Buff Bunny Lifesaver shorts and the Vitality Vista shorts. So already off the bat, this lace detailing right here is so cute. Um, it's just like a little longer than the actual short, so it is sheer. You do have the short coverage underneath, which feels, feels like a spandex. It doesn't feel super compressive, but it doesn't feel like as loose as the Vista shorts from Vitality. So it definitely does feel like you have some compression going on underneath. Um, no pockets on this guy, which that's fine. And then we do have the drawstring in the front with the little metal detailing as well. Also completely random side note, I am loving this setup because it gives you a preview of collections that I am going to, to be reviewing, trying on everything like that. So if you do spot something back here, it's a little preview for a future video. So I'm loving it. Let me know what you guys think. So I haven't washed or done anything, so they are a little bit wrinkly. Uh, just don't mind that. So these are, okay, so these are going to be the Pat It Off Pet Hair Resistant High Waist Deep Side Pocket Leggings in red mahogany. So these are basically their Pat It Off, which is like signature pet hair resistant. Um, and then this is going to have the deep pocket and then obviously red mahogany in this color. Super cute. Already noticed that the waistband isn't extremely thick which could be good, could be bad. So we're gonna see how that goes on that. Okay, so these are their cloud full leggings. So these definitely feel different. They do have the cross waistband. They also have the pocket on the side. Really beautiful color. This is in the color, I wanna say winter moss. Yeah, this is the color winter moss. The waistband on these is a little bit thicker, um, but it does have that crisscross in front. Okay, so the green ones is their Cloudful 2.0. These are their Cloudful. So I am not 100% sure on the dif difference, but based on feel, these feel a little bit more structured and these feel a little bit more loungy. Just initial, initial thoughts. So this is, yeah, just the Cloudful crossover pocket legging. So it does have that waistband crossover waistband in the front there and then it does have pockets on the side as well if you've seen my most recent like lululemon amazon shindig this tank top really reminded me kind of of just like one of their cropped camis and this color is stunning it comes with cut pads um it's really just like a basic workout cami but this color and the fabric is super super soft so I'm very excited about this one. Um, it is just a workout crop cami. I believe this is in the color milky green. So it is pretty cropped here, but I'm excited to try this guy. Okay, and then of course I could not, not shop. I could not shop from Polara and not get the workout dress. 
So this is their workout dress in navy. I was going to get it in black, but I feel like I have a lot of black, so. Um, it does have built-in shelf padding right here. It has a little crisscross in the back here, so that's a really cute detail. And then, of course, it does have the shorts with the pocket underneath. This is gonna be a ribbed fabric, so it's not gonna be that like straight, sleek look. Um, I don't mind, I think it looks really good in this dress. I think it's very flattering. And I had, I'm in, I'm in the air, guys. I'm gonna do a video of um, like what the best one is, in my opinion. But I couldn't not get their flare leggings. So this is their Pat It Off Flow Pet Hair Resistant Crossover High Waisted Black Pocket Super Flare Leggings. So it's basically their super flare leggings um, and it does have the crossover in the front. This one actually has a little pocket in the back, which I don't normally use, but if you wanna like throw something in there on a run or anything like that, super cute. So these are very bell bottomy, which I'm here for. That's the whole point of the flare look. And I'm really excited to try all of these on, give my first and honest feedback. Um, I do want to be completely transparent. They did gift me these, so I did not spend my own money, but I will be giving my own honest thoughts on these. So let's hop into the try on. So they have, they have these little like rip off tags, which if you follow me for any amount of time, you know, I hate tags. Me and Gymshark, those magazines, no, but these, these are great. So already a plus on that. So I did put on the flare pants. I will have the exact description down below along with my sizing price and everything like that, or I'll have it right here um, or right here. I don't know which side I put it on. <laughs> so right off the bat, I did notice that, so there is a seam. I don't know if you guys can tell, there is a seam right along here that does not stretch much. So going over my hips, it felt a little tight, <clears throat> but once we got up, we're totally fine. And I do notice that it does like cinch in my waist a bit. This does have a smaller waistband here. Um, and I do not love my love handles. So I feel like it accentuates that a little bit more. Whereas if they had a longer waistband here, I feel like it would kind of cut that and make me look a little bit more slim. But these are so comfortable. Um, these are the ribbed like material as well, the same as the dress. So they feel very different than the other pair of flare leggings that I have put on, but in a good way. They just, they feel compressive, but not restricting. It does have a front seam. Um, I do have to mention that. I feel like I'm getting like dry shampoo all over them. So if you see little white spots, just dry shampoo. Um, the flare goes all the way down to my feet. Let me show you. So the flare does reach down, which is nice, kind of hard to find, I'm 5'7", and it does reach pretty much like the perfect length on me. I really, really like these leggings, friends. Okay, so next up we do have this cami. Um, I am obsessed with this. This is extremely soft. It's not like any of the other camis that I have in my collection right now. It's just really soft. I, like I said, I'm obsessed with this color. These straps are not adjustable, but they're not digging in at all. Like I don't feel any sort of like digging in any restriction. None of that. It's not super tight. I am a 30. Apparently the padding in here got a little messed up. I am a 34B, <clears throat> um, so I don't need much support on top. I feel like if you do have a much bigger chest, might be something to think about, but truthfully, like you barely even see any cleavage. I do feel like it has a higher neck top. And then it does go back a little bit in the back. I, I really, really love this. Um, it's very like plain and simple. But sometimes if you just hit the nail on the head, you hit the nail on the head. And I feel like this is a home run. I like where it hits because it shows just a little bit of skin, um, but it does kind of meet like the top of leggings. 
Uh, I do have a very short like distance between my ribs and my hips. So this camisole is actually hitting at the bottom of my ribs. Ribs. So I don't feel like I'm gonna get much rolling from this at, at all because of where it simply hits on me. Um, I really enjoy this tank top. This tank top is really nice. I highly recommend. So these are their cloud full, like original, not the 2.0 ones. They do have the pocket with the crisscross waistband up here. They are a 7 8 eighths legging, which I would say is pretty true. No front seam on this one, just on the flare ones, which if you get the black, I don't think you can really see, but it is something I did want to note. I don't have the issue with the waistband like seam being tight at all. This, I feel extremely comfortable in these. They really don't give me much of a camo problem, which recently I have just been getting a lot of settling. I don't know if my anatomy has changed, but something I've been struggling with a little bit more than normal now. Uh, but I really, really like these. I don't think that they would be extremely cellulite friendly in this color, just because it is that lighter color. It does go up to my belly button here. I feel extremely comfortable in these. I don't know how sweat wicking they would be. It does feel like it would almost like absorb the sweat rather than wick it away. <laughs> but I really, really like these. I love the color. I think that they're such a fun, bright blue. I love the pocket, um, cause I, that way I don't just throw my phone like it's a brick. So for the booty, they don't really have any logoing, which I really appreciate. Um, I, I don't like like a huge logo. So having no logo to me is totally fine. They do have these two seams. I don't know if you can tell. They do have these two seams that kind of go up at an angle here. So it does kind of give the illusion of your waist cinching in as well. I wouldn't say that there's too much waist compression here. I don't feel like it's sucking me in at all, but I do feel like it's gonna stay up. Um, and then they don't have, like some brands obviously focus on like glute contour and stuff like that. They don't have a specific glute contour, which I don't mind. I. I really think I would grab these for like going on walks. I would grab these for yoga, like low impact stuff, maybe not the high impact, just because I like to feel super hugged and sucked in when I'm lifting, just that's me. But these are some of the most comfortable leggings that I own, honestly. So these are their original Cloudfuls. I don't know what the difference between Cloudful 1 and Cloudful 2, um, but this is the first version. These definitely feel more like a second skin. They feel a lot like thinner, not in a bad way, but just definitely more like a second skin than wearing, wearing a legging. They do have the pockets, which are pretty deep, and then the crossover waistband as well. These are also 7 8 flanging, pretty true. I would say overall, these, when I put them on, they remind me of the Lululemon Wonder Under, but thinner, where they're just extremely stretchy, they're comfortable, they're not gonna hug you in super tight, so it's not gonna give you a like intense figure or anything. But honestly, like on those days that you're bloated and you just don't wanna be sucked in, I think these are fantastic. These and the blue ones feel very identical very similar, but there's definitely changes. I feel less naked in the other ones, but these are really, really great. And I love the color as well. No front seam on these either. And then it kind of has the same like detailing in the back as far as the two lines on the side, no logo. Yeah, I just think that these are an extremely comfortable, good looking pair of leggings. I will say one thing that I am noticing with the crossover waistband on me, where it hits, it's gonna roll. That's the only thing I'm noticing. So for me, it's almost like I don't need the crisscross waistband just cause it rolls a little bit and you can barely tell that it is a crisscross. So that's the only thing that I am noticing. Um, these are not going, like if you're expecting like high compression, high performance, these are not gonna be it. 
if you want a comfortable pair of leggings to do low intensity to just kind of like live in I recommend these and the cloudful either one or two whichever <laughs> but definitely keep in mind that the original cloudful at least to me does feel a little bit more nakey than the 2.0 Okay, so we're switching to a different fabric. So this is the Pat It Off fabric, which they market as like if you have pets, you should just be able to pat off the fur, which I'm gonna go rub these on my dog and see if we can pat them off. Okay, so I have the Pat It Off legging here. I have a tired dog here. So I'm just gonna pet. Hey, good girl. So I just rubbed that all over her and truthfully, I see like one hair. Okay, there we go. So it did pick up some and then we're going to just pat it off. And it came right off. So it's definitely pet hair resistant, I would say. Okay, so these feel more like a performance legging to me than like a low intensity workout legging. So these do feel a little bit more compressive on the waist. I do feel a little bit more compressive on the thighs here. Um, and it doesn't feel as thin. It still feels pretty thin. Like I would definitely say these are like a summer to fall legging. They're not extremely thick at all. These do have pockets as well. Um, I did mention that I was nervous about the waistband being too like short here. It's actually not a problem for me. Um, I thought it was going to give me a weird shape. It does still kind of push out my pooch, but that's my anatomy, so it's gonna stick out anyway. But I, I really like these. Um, I do like the compression in the waistband on these. I would really, really like to wear these for a leg day and kind of report back on the sweat wicking. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, um, follow me over there because I'll probably do a little bit more like after I've worked out on them updates. Again, 7 8 legging. Personally, I would probably prefer like a full length legging on me, but 7 8 doesn't really bother me either. It's just a little bit more ankle. Okay, so I did want to mention that the back does not have like any glue contouring at all. It is going to just be this straight around waistband. It does dip a little bit, but there's really not much else going on in the back. So if you want a little bit more booty contour, this isn't going to give it to you. Um, if you don't really care, then these are a great lighting, which I personally, I don't really care. So. Okay, so we all know that I get my shorts in a large. So these are a large. They definitely feel more form-fitting than the other two pair of shorts that I own as far as like the Lifesaver and the Vista. Obviously the waistband is much smaller on these than the Vista shorts, which I appreciate. Um, these shorts do feel a little compressive, but they're really not restricting at all. Like I definitely can still move around. They do give me like full butt coverage and then this outer part does kind of like lay loosely. Um, for me, I don't love these, but I think it's just because of this like front part here. I have a little bit thicker thighs, so the shorts tend to just like gather here and it always gives me the illusion of a diaper. So I would want to try these actually in like an XL maybe, which sounds scary because I've never sized up that much. Um, but I would definitely be interested in trying these in an XL to just kind of see if they fit any differently. But I would absolutely go for a walk in these. Um, a run, I don't know, just because I feel like I would be pulling like this all the time. But for like outdoor work, I really, really like these. I do think that they're extremely comfortable. I like that you have the drawstring right in here. So you can obviously tighten it a little bit more or you can leave it undone. Um, I would recommend if you do like looser shorts like I do, 
I personally sized up one. I would maybe even recommend sizing up two. I don't know for sure, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, yeah, I don't hate them. I really, I, I do enjoy them as just kind of like a lounge short, but they're not gonna be the running short that I had wanted simply based on my physique and the way that my thighs eat any pair of shorts. So that's just my personal thing. If you don't have as thick of thighs, these might be perfect on you. If you do have as thick of thighs, like I said, maybe try just sizing up two sizes um, if the one size up doesn't work well for you. And last but not least, the fitness dress. Um, I, let me just say that I love this more than I thought that I would. I am not a dress girly. Um, I feel like it, they just accentuate my body a little bit weird. And I love these. So there are obviously shorts underneath with a pocket. So they do have the pocket underneath. These shorts are not spandex. They are the exact same material as what's on the outside. So the way that this dress is like made, this is gonna be weird, but whatever. So there is literally just a onesie under here with the boobs. So that is the padding. So they just sewed a dress on top of a onesie, which I really like because I feel compressed underneath. Like it almost feels like I'm wearing slimming body wear with the dress on top. So I really like the way that they did that. I think that it's a very flattering shape. Um, the skirt does cover my booty. The shorts were a little bit long, but I just kind of hiked them up a little bit. And so this is their signature pad it off fabric as well. So this again is going to repel the pet hair a little bit better. Um, built in cup pads, built in shelf bra. The little crisscross detailing in the back is super cute. So I did get this in a medium and I will say like fitting the top over my hips was a little questionable at a time, but I would not have wanted the large because I really like the way that this fits once you get it on. I think it's supposed to be a little bit more snug and that's exactly what this is doing right now. I do not play tennis. I do not really do any of that. So I wouldn't wear this for that, obviously, but I would absolutely wear these for low intensity. I think this is so cute. I think this would be really cute to just like walk around on a day in with like some white sneakers. I don't know, I love this dress, like I said, a lot more than I thought that I would. Good job, Polara. Okay, so we went through that section of my clothing rack, I guess. Um, it has been a few hours I did go to yoga right after like I hustled changed my outfit I was gonna wear the like crop cami but just look what I did to it I took it off and my makeup got on it so I didn't have time to fix it or do anything really so I didn't wear that so I was gonna try and wear some of the cloud full leggings to the yoga class but it's normally kind of warm in there so I don't like doing the yoga class in leggings. I like doing it in shorts. And I didn't want to do it in the running shorts. So I haven't worn them to work out, but I really like them. I am pleasantly surprised with Halara on my first introduction to them. I think that their leggings feel really good quality. I think that their colors themselves are very, very pretty. Um, they do have options or a lot of variety as far as colors for the leggings. So that's good. Um, only thing I don't that I am noticing as I'm like holding them up is they don't really go in at the waist. So if you look here, they're not really like going up. So these are the colorful ones, which that makes sense because I said that these were like a second skin. So that does make a lot of sense actually. Okay, so the flare pants don't really go in either. And then these don't really go in either. So
So it seems to be a thing where the waist doesn't really cinch in too much. That's why I never really felt super constricted on the waist. I definitely felt more held in and stuff um, with the, I think this is the, yeah, this is the petted off or padded off one. I did feel more like compressed in these, but overall I'm very impressed. That dress, so cute. Never would have thought to try a dress, honestly. But yeah, I was pleasantly surprised with the dress. Everything really, really good. Highly recommend. I look forward to reviewing them, trying them on in the future. If you are interested in purchasing anything here, or if you want to purchase anything else from their website, please do consider using my code, just Kelsey B. That again, that does just support me. It doesn't give me any sort of commission or anything. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video.